So I'm testing a few different rounds against 304 stainless steel, eighth inch thick. Um, this stuff's pretty uh, sturdy. Um, if this interests you half as much as it does me, I'm glad to have you along. Um, this stuff is medium hardness. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to use for the Cybertruck, but it's as close as I can buy easily. So that's what I got. Like I say, pretty sturdy stuff. For 9mm, I have some cheap full metal jacket. Um, it's also called ball ammo and some critical defense hollow points. And then for the sake of, well, reasons, um, I'll also hit it with some uh, Hornady Black match ammo and um, probably just some cheap stuff out of an AR-15 and then some uh, subsonic and supersonic 300 blackout. Uh, last, I'm going to try uh, some 5.7 out of an FN 5.7 green tip uh, duty ammo. And uh, if it manages to survive even reasonably, I'm going to hit it with some SS 190s as well. So enjoy. All right, so I'm hitting it with the uh, nine millimeter ball ammo first. So we got there, that's nine millimeter ball ammo and that didn't even come close to penetrating. Dented it good. I cracked my stand a little bit. But we can definitely uh, check that out. Looking pretty good. Yeah. So, full metal jacket. Cool. This here is critical defense, 9mm hollow points. So, we'll give that a go. A nice impact there. We got uh, bits and pieces stuck in the wood off to the sides. This is all from that critical defense. It definitely blasts apart into bits and pieces. Um, and I also hit down here with that one, so you can see two rounds. Nine millimeter doesn't really uh, get through that at all. So I guess we'll try something a little bit uh, bigger and hotter. All right, this here is my ridiculously scoped. Uh AR. Yeah, we plowed right through on that one. I think we might have hit right in here and actually plowed into the uh, into the wood on the first shot, but yeah, we went right through. If you want to check out the back side there so um, yeah if you're getting shot at hopefully it's not with a, something more than a nine millimeter right? this will be a 300 blackout supersonic so um, yeah um, that one did not make it through the wood though Obviously, the uh, the deflection off of the wood slowed it down quite a bit, but yeah, it went through sideways. Let's see about how wide that that slot is. So we definitely got nine millimeter going on, but that's about it. I'm gonna try subsonic just for the fun of it. All right, this here's some subsonic 300 blackout. In case I guess you're getting shot at by somebody that wants their bullets running quieter. Looks like subsonic ammo doesn't make it through. So, that's just curious in and of itself. The subsonic has less power behind it than a 9mm out of a Glock. So, voila. How am I going to set this thing up now that I broke my damn thing? That's annoying. Green tips, because I have more of those. Ammo is kind of hard to get these days. We have a direct impact with uh, five seven green tips. Looks like it melted something. It melted the uh, the aluminum into it. These are uh, they're actually aluminum. They're lead free. 
aluminium if you prefer. But, um, all right. Well, I'll try some SS190s. These are some SS190s. Um, yeah, they got a steel penetrator. And, uh, Looks like uh, we hit, and the steel penetrator went through, and then hit the wood, but obviously the mass of the bullet stayed behind, which is what it's designed to do. So, cool, fun times. That's that. So clearly, yeah, nine millimeter, no problem. Um, don't get shot at with rifles while you're in a Cybertruck hiding behind the door.